Namaste, and welcome to our continuing journey through the Ashtavakra Gita. Today we continue this profound journey with Chapter 16. Previously in Chapter 15, impressed but not through teaching, Ashtavakra relentlessly points to the vast emptiness of self. Today in Chapter 16, Ashtavakra attacks futility of effort and knowing. I think it's going to be interesting as Ashtavakra expands on his teachings to King Janaka. I hope you enjoy it. Chapter 16 Special Instruction Ashtavakra said, You can recite and discuss scripture all you want, but until you drop everything, you will never know truth. You can enjoy, work and meditate, but you will still yearn for that which is beyond all experience and in which all desires are extinguished. Everyone is miserable because they exert constant effort. But no one understands this. A right mind can become unshackled upon hearing this one instruction. The master idler, to whom even blinking is a bother, is happy, but he is the only one. When the mind is free of opposites, like this is done or this is yet undone, one becomes indifferent to merit, wealth, pleasure and liberation. One who abhors sense objects avoids them. One who desires them becomes ensnared. One who neither abhors nor desires is neither detached nor attached. As long as there is desire, which is the absence of discrimination, there will be attachment and non-attachment. This is the cause of the world. Indulgence creates attachment. Aversion creates abstinence. Like a child, the sage is free of both and thus lives on as a child. One who is attached to the world thinks renouncing it will relieve his misery. One who is attached to nothing is free and does not feel miserable even in the world. He who claims liberation as his own, as an attainment of a person, is neither enlightened nor a seeker. He suffers his own misery. Though Hara, Hari, or the lotus-born Brahma himself instruct you, until you know nothing, you will never know self. Wow! What profound words of instruction by Ashtavakra. Such meaningful verses, so much to meditate upon. I hope you're able to hear these words again and to go deeper into the meaning behind these simple yet profound verses. Leave me a comment and let me know how you felt. Please share this with someone who you feel will benefit from joining this journey. I look forward to seeing you on a continuing journey through the Ashtavakra Gita. Until next time, this is Akshananda signing off from the Himalayas with much love and light. Namaste.